Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, I'm going to do a quick workbench review of my everyday carry that I've been carrying around for a few months now. So let's jump right into it. This is a Patagonia Atom sling bag. It's an eight liter bag and it's been kind of my you know, EDC slash diaper bag. So, um, yeah, it's a, it's been a pretty good, pretty good bag. Um, what I like about it most is, is you can run into any store and grab this bag. So, I mean, it's pretty readily available. You can order it off Amazon, a bunch of websites. It's not a tactical bag at all. And that's one of the biggest uh, things that I like about it is that I'm not, profiling with the fact that like I have you know stuff in here to combat you know bad things in the world so it's a pretty good little bag um so let's go ahead and get into the small pouch right here this front pouch has a bunch of storage in here um I mean I can jam my whole hand in here and it it's it basically runs down to the bottom of here it expands pretty well. I mean, I just keep a few things in here. You know, I, um, I have an old uh, <laughs> mint bat or mint thing, Altoids, and I just have like some small like sunscreen for my kid and myself and like some boo boo kit. You know, just some band aids or whatever. You know, sunscreen, whatever. I live near the beach, so we gotta protect against that sun. But yeah, so I keep it in there. Um, I got my wallet in here. I got a little snot rag for the kid. Um, you know, and I have plenty of room to fit other things if I need to kind of upgrade them and snacks. A little, a little snack for, for the kid out here. But, uh, yeah, it's pretty much what I keep in this front pouch right here. It's pretty simple. Um, you know, my keys stay on me. You got a, you got a little hook loop right here to kind of, you know, clip something else in there. It'll be good. Um, one thing to note is these straps here, they, they can be hidden in, in this little slot right here. You just roll them up and they have slots on either side. I leave them exposed and pretty easy. Um, I've already clipped a jacket in here when it's gotten uh, too warm, take it off and clip it in there and it holds up pretty nicely. I got a, a, uh, climbing rated carabiner on here for, you know, it's just one of the carabiners I had laying around, clip it on there. Clip a water bottle, you know, whatever else you need. Um, you can clip on there. So, and this this uh, carry handle is pretty awesome. It's mainly how I carry it most of the time, just, you know, to and from the vehicle, whatever. And then, um, you know, the sling is nice and padded and it's really quick, easily adjustable. You got another, um, you know, loop right here to hook another. I mean, you could do a carabiner, you could do like pass through, whatever you want. And then this pocket, um, I have some you know, some hippie hand sanitizer right here. Um, and then, uh, yeah, it expands as you can see. So I, I got an iPhone 12, um, that mini, and it fits perfectly in here. So, and I know other people with bigger phones, it fits cause this, this is a mesh and it kind of expands, you can see. So you can fit whatever you want. I put sunglasses in here sometimes. So and this is a fully, you know, adjustable uh, sling uh, setup. So, you know, it's a nice padded mesh. It's not too big either, but uh, that's kind of there. But the meat and potatoes of this thing is it, it lies inside of here. So what's inside of here is diapers. Um, yeah, just in case. You never know when you need uh, to change your kid. So, but the meat and potatoes of this thing, and how I've had it, how it's set up is uh, pretty pretty simple. It's pretty streamlined, but you can it's modular. You can change it out. This is the um, Black Triangle Group's ridge panel for their sling bag. So they make a few different sizes, but this is specifically made for this um, Adam sling bag. So I'm gonna go ahead and rotate it around. I'll just take this whole panel out so you can see kind of how I have it set up. So it's a nice tight fit, which is good because I don't want the panel coming out when I'm drawing. So set the bag side there. Oops, 
All right. So, basically it comes with these elastic, well, it comes with elastic and Velcro, as you can see on here. So, um, Kit Badger, he does a good review on this panel that he puts in his Vertex sling bag, which has Velcro backing or felt backing inside of the bag that he's able to kind of Velcro this panel to. And so um, the way I have it set up is I'm able to use both sides of this panel and I just use the elastic. Uh, it fits so tight in there and it's pretty packed that I, I, I don't have a problem pulling this stuff out or keeping it retained just by the elastic. Um, so basically on the back side, I have the, um, a spare 17 round mag. And then the, um, this is a G10, G10 knife from, um, you know, black triangle group. I think this is the Senka, but they're all G10. So the whole thing is non-metallic, a non-metallic tool, right? So for your non-permissive environments, you know, you can hook that up there. These are awesome. I highly recommend checking out Black Triangle Group. They have a lot of cool stuff. Um, so yeah, but I got that on the backside because you never know when you might need to go in a non-permissive environment and not be a victim. So uh, all I have on this side is my gun. So I've just been carrying it like this. And it's, as you can see, it's just, stuck right in there and it kind of grabs onto the grooves right here in, in the uh, on the wing and I can also you know move this into the clip there I mean it's really nothing so so as I draw when I reach into the bag this comes you know the gun comes out and I'm not running I was running the 17 round mag um on the firearm in here I just found it's a lot easier for me whenever I'm drawing to kind of just have the standard 15 round mag in so I'm not really um snagging anything extra and i can kind of get a better purchase on the firearm so and this is how i keep it because there is times where i may need to just not run this entire bag and i just need to take my gun and put it on and, and wear the gun so um but yeah this panel has been working out really great and i like the modularity of it um say if i was carrying and i needed to up you know kind of like upload my edc i would basically turn this into like a half of an ifac so you know i'd probably put you know keep this back panel the same take the gun out wear the gun and then have the whole hold this whole panel on the front side here uh as a medical kit so it'd be you know you have your your stop the bleed stuff and then put it probably like a tourniquet on there and call it a day. Uh, so, and it fits right, fits nicely in there. I've, I've uh, set it up like that just to kind of see how, how, how it works and play with it. So, um, but yeah, so this panel just sits right inside this bag very nicely and discreetly. So I kind of just slip it right in there and, you know, stuff her in there. And uh, yeah, and that's how, it's, it sits nicely. It's, it, you know, I can still get to the gun, no problem, pull it out. And, um, and yeah, and I can still access the diapers when I need, when I need those. So, um, and there's still enough room. I mean, you can still see, I can like, you can stuff stuff down in here if you need to. I could add it. I mean, I could take this, I could take the bungee off and, and put pouches on there if I wanted to, you know. So, um, again, I like, I love the modularity of this. I think the guys at Black Triangle Group are doing a fantastic job, um, of doing stuff like this. So, but yeah, it fits out, it fits really well in here. And, um, yeah, and so I like carrying that. And, uh, for me, it's working out pretty well. Um, I just think it's a lot easier whenever you have small children that off body carry is a little easier i i don't have to worry about like them hitting my gun or anything on my hips or you know even appendix i can go and you know when we get home i can play with them immediately i don't have to go take a gun off put it in a safe or you know whatever so um it's a little bit easier and i can i can still get to it you know so you're gonna have to fight regardless so the whole you know sub second draw stuff and being a competition shooter and you know shooting fast is all good 
But, um, you know, in your self-defense mode or, you know, self-defense type of situation, you're always going to have to fight for your gun. So, um, and, the, and the good thing about this is I have stuff in my truck that I can add to it. So it, it can act as well as a go bag. So, um, and, you know, for the people that are going to say I, I should already just have medical in here, et cetera, I have a med IFAC fanny pack in my, in my truck. So, um, and also I wear a belt, you can improvise, you know what I mean? So I know in, in our community, we talk a lot about stopping the bleed, stopping the bleed, but you can also slow the bleed. Um, so improv improvising, you know, is also a good mindset to have when you're talking about preparedness, everyday carry and, and things of that nature. But as far as um, how I'm carrying right now, like this is kind of my go-to setup. Uh, I kind of just throw this in there and, you know, I live in a pretty rural, you know, area, pretty low crime rate. So it, it all, it all really depends on where you're going to. If I go in the city, it's a little bit different, you know, I'll be packing this and, and also it's a Patagonia bag. So this doesn't, you know, some of these name brands, you know, because of the internet, you're getting so much clout that people know, oh, a Vertex bag or especially 511 or something like that. That may le look less tactical, but the branding is still there and people know they're like, oh yeah, that guy probably is carrying. But if I'm running around with a Patagonia bag, you know, I, I just look like a hippie or something or, you know, rock climber or whatever, you know. So it's it's pretty standard, especially in cities now. Um, this is real big in Europe. Uh, sling bags, men carrying satchels, bags, things of that nature huge huge over there not so much in america it's starting to come over to this uh part of the part of the country so but yeah i mean i like it it works out good um probably for the summertime i may go back to the uh fanny pack something a little smaller i'll probably change out change out the gun i'm, I'm running you know so but for winter time and kind of the colder climates and and uh, what I'm using this for as far as kind of a, a halfway of a diaper bag as well, um, it, it works out pretty well. So I can sling this around my body and then I can just pull it with my non-dominant hand, you know, and zip and then get the draw if I need to. And it sits kind of, the way it sits when you, when you pull it in front of you, it sits like this. So it's really nice because it sits right here if you pulled it, you know, you come across, you know, you rip that open like here and then go for your... Go for your firearm when you're talking about faster draws, but yeah, for the most part, I mean, I you know you come in here and I can just pull whatever. I mean, you can store extra mags in here if you wanted to, flashlights, all that stuff. Again, half this stuff I, that most people carry, I have in my truck as well. And in the years I've been carrying, I have never used most of the stuff. So um, as long as it's available to me when I need it, I'm okay with it. So. Again, most of EDC is being resourceful and aware of your surroundings. But um, but yeah, if you're looking to kind of play around with off-body carry and you don't want to rock a fanny pack because you're not about that life, so I would check out maybe using a sling bag or if you want a consolidated go bag or like a smaller truck bag, um, you know, with, with the essentials, the bare minimum essentials. This would actually be a pretty good go bag as well, um, depending on where you live. And so, you know, that all, again, a lot of things are, it depends, right? So with this, I, I mean, I would make this my, this is basically my go bag as well, because I'm just going to put the stuff that's in my truck if I ever need to abandon my truck for any reason. Um, so, and, it, and it's abandoned my truck to get probably fuel or to get home or whatever, you know, so it's never going to be like, oh, I'm never going to see my truck again. Apocalypse happens, blah, blah, blah. But um, for the most part, it's it's the things that are already in my truck. Like I can strap that fanny pack on. That's a mitt, that's an IFAC. Okay, there's that. And then the flashlights and your you know pepper sprays, bear sprays, extra medical that I have in there, all that stuff I can jam in here. You know I can move stuff around. It's modular. It's quick. So that's kind of that's kind of the idea behind carrying this as well. It's it's just a lot simpler. I, I used a few different diaper bags. I got some of the tactical baby gear stuff. That stuff's cool. It's, it, it works. It's good. It's super modular. But there's nothing about those bags that 
allow you to carry a gun well. And so, yeah, they got bulletproof panels in there and all sorts of stuff. And yeah, that's cool and all, but one, it really screams like, you know, you know, tactical, you know, tactical type of type of vibe, which isn't really my vibe. You know, um, I'm, I'm pretty low key. I don't really walk around and want people to know that I'm capable of doing, you know, like I have a gun or I'm of that culture or whatever. So that's kind of the whole key thing. It's not the necessary gray man theory. It's more just like blending in with your surroundings and what you live, you know? So, um, you know, and also grabbing and utilizing stuff that you can get anywhere. You know, I don't have to wait, you know, weeks because I ordered from Vertex or ordered from 5.11 or whatever. Like if you don't have any of those stores, but most stores around here will sell Patagonia stuff. You can walk into a Dick's Sporting Goods and pick this up. You know, they're a nationwide, um, you know, chain. So it's like, if you can walk into a chain, pick this up and throw a ridge panel in there, boom, you're good to go. You know, I don't have to worry about, you know, this and everything. As long as you have this ridge panel, I can make a lot of different little bags work, right? And so, and, and this is very clandestine. It's very covert. I, you don't know that what's in here is what's in here. Especially when I have a kid, most people are, they, they're like, oh, sweet diaper bag, you know? So, um, that's kind of the mindset behind the EDC and the, the kind of that concealed carry and the, and the um, go bag stuff. Um, it's kind of really getting, breaking down and getting to the, the reality of it, you know? So, it's, sometimes it's fun to play with all the ideas and, and get, get it out of, into the weeds on the topic but in reality base it off of your environment because your environment is going to dictate what you carry so um, for me this is working out fantastic it's working out pretty good um so i like it so far i'm kind of being okay with off body carry i carried on body a, a lot or, or for a long time and this is the first time i'm testing out off body carry and it's kind of weird at first but um i'm getting kind of used to it so, but yeah, this is uh, the Patagonia Adam sling bag. I like it. It works good for your, for your diaper bag and slash gun bag or everyday carry. So go ahead and check this out. I mean, Patagonia, Amazon, uh, you, I don't even remember which site I got this off of. You can get it off anywhere. It's not, it's not that expensive, but mainly go check out Black Triangle Group. They have some cool other things g10 uh knives they make holsters they make stuff for jujitsu so um yeah go check those dudes out and uh yeah so that's all i have for you on the uh workbench review and uh ho hopefully you like the content yeah i'm gonna keep it coming it's been slow but um we're, we're picking up picking up the pace here so yeah remember to like and subscribe leave some comments let me know what your Everyday carry is, let me know how you feel about off-body carry. Have you tried off-body carry? Um, would you try off-body carry? Do you, do you necessarily need a go bag? What, you know, what's in your EDC? So let me, let me know in the comments below. I love reading those things. So yeah, till next time. See ya.